Hey, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Metal Redneck. I am at uh, an undisclosed lake at I Don't Know, Ontario. I already caught two sunfish, and I'm just doing some exploring, and I'm trying to find, whoop, trying to find a place to put my, uh, my tent, because I got a brand new tent for my birthday, and I haven't put it up once, so stick around. We're going to do some fishing. We're going to be eating some good food, so yeah, cheers. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any uh, wild edibles as of yet. There is a lot of mushrooms, none that are uh, edible, mind you, but we'll keep an eye out. Oh yeah, and I'm not camping alone this time. Uh, I'm actually camping with my dad, my two brothers, and one of our family friends. So if you hear chit-chat in the background, or if you see random people walk by in the background, then, then that, that's them. Now you know. <laughs> Anyways, we gotta get that tarp up. Okay, oh, Chris, you here's your sticks. Let's, uh, let's, yeah. see. let's see. It's hard to do it without, like, yeah. smashing it while you're hitting it down. Yeah. Alright, we're going to go find some birch bark. If Don can do it, you can do it. Don did it? Don did it. I told Dad, and, he, and his eyes lit up. He's like, what? There you go. Oh, you woo! Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. You can see it on the video, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, little fish here. Oh, come on. Oh, oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You got a good one? Uh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Did it get off? Oh, it got off. Oh, that was a good <laughs> one, too. Captain Spaulding Bacon. Captain Spaulding Bacon. Uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, The Devil's Rejects, Three from Hell, Rob Zombie. Did he pass away recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah right after he did Three from Hell. <laughs> Holy cow, bro. He he look look away, at all the right? beef. <laughs> what, you guys are opposed to extra beef? It's not even that crazy amount. A lot of beef. I'm gonna send a picture to the guys. Cool. Nice. Then they'll get jealous. No, they won't. <laughs> no, they won't. Feels like jealous. Ah, <laughs> yeah, I called it. 
I called it. <laughs> Okay, okay, we are going to the site where I'm going to put up my tent. And as you can see, it is very slopey. <laughs> Not a lot of flat ground here, but there's a spot over there. There we go. There's still a little bit of work to do. There's still some pine cones, but we'll just take care of them as we go along. Okay. Been a hot day today anyways so this is the one uh, Tigris hot tent I got it for my birthday and that was 20 days ago and I haven't actually put it up yet so these guys want to help me put it up so let's do it <laughs> <laughs> all right uh, so this tent's more like uh, a prospector tent it's not made of canvas but it's, it looks like a house it's kind of cool Okay, we got the tent up. Uh, we were supposed to use the poles on the corners, but we just winged it. So I'm going to show you inside. It looks kind of like a military tent. It's really dope. But yeah, it's got uh, two stove jacks on each side. If you want to put a little wood stove in it. But yeah, I'm getting eaten by bugs. So let's go inside. Oh. Man, there we go. This is awesome. I'm gonna lay a tarp down, get as many sticks as I can out of here, get my gear in here. Uh, yeah, it's got zippers up here and zippers that go down uh, because you're supposed to put a hammock in here and also air ventilation when you put a wood stove in it. But I am definitely not putting a wood stove in it right now. And like I said, this isn't put up 100% the way it's supposed to. But like I said, I don't care. Anyways, I'm going to throw my stuff in here and eat some food. And I really hope that I catch a fish too. Wish us luck, folks. Yeah, I just wanted a tent that was literally four walls and a roof. And something that you just didn't mess around with, you know? I wanted to be able to maybe throw a cot in there. Or, like I said, a hammock. Yeah. That looks good to me, man. It's a little bit of a jaunt from camp, but that's okay. Yeah, it doesn't have a floor in there, so I'm just going to use my uh, tarp. Alright, let's see how comfortable this is. Oh, uh, yeah. That is so comfortable. Yeah, that's awesome. But yeah, this is pretty amazing how big it is. Like, 
You could have a table, you could put an actual bed in here, depending on how long you want to stay, right? This is just me roughing it for now. I can, I can, I can dig it. Thank you to everybody that was involved in actually getting me this tent. I greatly appreciate it, and it will definitely be used. It's so awesome. Okay, well, I gotta go back to the main camp so that I can get something to eat. You know, I'm gonna lie down one more time. Oh, yeah. That's comfy. <laughs> I might actually sleep well tonight. Who knows? That's a good bass, man. Yeah. We'll eat that. Heck yeah. I'm in. Right on. Decent. We gotta measure it and write it in the fish log. In the fish log. Yep. That is beautiful. It is 13 inches. That is awesome. Awesome. Very hot. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> so what's really awesome about this tent is that these uh, strings are reflective, so you can see it from really far away. I did not realize that. That's pretty cool. Anyways, time to go in, get curled up, and go to sleep. All right, I am going to sleep. It has been a very long day. And tent is still holding up nicely. And we'll see you in the morning.